Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. There Let's do it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're it's there. Happening. Oh shit. I stuck 500 viewers you. already. God damn. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. You are our 500th <laughs> this week. <laughs> happy um, Thursday, everybody. Yeah, it's a it, it is a happy day today, dude. Uh, I mean, you can see I'm me and Caribou been pre gaming a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, but now so here's my my I got a conundrum. I can't find so Noof. I don't know if you're in chat yet, brother, but you you sent me that lighter holder a while back. It's got a little digger tool in it, and that thing has been delegated as the car lighter because it's got the cool shit on it. Now, I need to clear out the vaporizer bowl here, and I cannot find that lighter. I was using it earlier today. I remember throwing it back in the car, but I obviously did not put it in the usual spot that it goes to, and now I can't fucking find it. So I'm now I'm like looking for something other than a key to use. Now I can definitely use a key. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just being fussy. <laughs> well. My vapor, I was telling you, my vaporizer is starting to taste like a vaporizer, so we're going to have to clean that out tonight. I think give it a little soak. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's good time. So you're going to have to get that. One thing I... Another easy. It's easy. <coughs> these uh, these vaporizers are really easy to clean and maintain and everything, so it's uh, it's not that bad. But it's just, I sometimes forget to do it in a timely fashion. And then I enough. try to stick to about every two to three days it seems to be about what the schedule works out to i find which isn't too too bad and then when i do clean it i find it just smells like amazing terpenes and i freaking love it it's like this is like because i'll just run hot i'll put it under a tap and run hot water through it to get rid of the worst uh the the sticky grime and I, I know what it's like. It just smells like terpenes, dude. I'm just like, oh, geez. That's oh, so good. Cheers, Art Man. How you doing, brother? Sniff. Great to see you, brother. Also, Noof. Cheers, man. I, I lost the lighter holder. I, it's here in the car somewhere, so you know how us stoners do it. it it's within arm's reach, but like, where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on there. We got some... Uh... Jay Patrick's already looking for a frog here. We, I got you. Give me just a couple of moments there, and I'll. I'll uh, Jay's I'll on it. With, uh, I'll look up with the frog. We got frogs. Do a frog. Boy. Yep. I'll do a frog. Oh fuck! <laughs> on. Fucking party fails. <laughs> Dude, you know, you know what I realize. Um, for next week on Thursday. We'll be, we should be able to do a show, but I'll have to do it from like on location at, uh, at, uh, the parking lot from the ice cube concert. Cause that's like next week, next Friday or Thursday. Sorry. So I'm, I'm that's woo -woo. Yeah, yeah. realizing that it's, it's getting close. So I, that's, this is my happy time of year. I guess you could say concert season. Yeah. I haven't been to a concert in a while. I got to, uh, I gotta find myself again, get find my happy stuff again. Like I do, I do do stuff that keeps me going. But I, I used to go to some music stuff a little bit back in the day, but not too much. Um, but yeah, I should probably. I want to go to like a reggae fest or something, somewhere where it's not like no drinking and all that shit. I don't like. I'm not into that scene. I like day concerts yeah. where you're just chilling. Festivals, dude. I, I wish you could come out to Vancouver for the Whalers on June first, man. Like you want to go see a reggae concert? Fuck, yeah. that would be the one right there. Right. We're gonna go check that one out at the Commodore in Vancouver. <laughs> yes, Ice Cube, the guy that makes kids movies. <laughs> but it's funny because that's I was just discussing this, uh, but we were talking about The Rock or Dwayne Johnson. Uh, kids seem to know him nowadays, but it's the same thing as Ice Cube, right? Like. From back in the day, we know him as Ice Cube, ain't NWA, the rapper, and all that. But that guy's been in movies since I think Boys in the Hood came out in 1992, I think, maybe 91, and has been very prolific in the movies ever since then, to the point of where my daughter, up until I started talking to her about Ice Cube and the concert and showing her his music, she's 10 years old, would have been nine at the time, and she doesn't know anything about him as a rapper. 
but he's that guy from those movies. He sees him in all these kids' movies and other movies, mainly kids' movies. <laughs> you, you know, and it's the same thing with Dwayne The Rock Johnson now. And we knew him from wrestling, but there's a whole generation like my daughter who has no idea that he was ever a wrestler or anything like that. And it's just, to me, that's neat. Or how many old grannies are on TV watching fucking Law and Order SPU and watching fucking Ice T, the guy that wrote the song Cop Killer? Um, <laughs> you, you know, watching him every night. Press keep the squeak across my throat. <laughs> yeah, fucking Ice T. That's funny. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, that fucking one got me. What was that? <laughs> Animal cookies cross garlic cookies. Oh, yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yep. So, I, I I also want to let it be known that I am not driving. I'm sitting in my car. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But the car is not even running right now. So if anyone's watching, we don't need any fucking narc alerts out there. But oh, care who's driving down the road and smoking. No, he's not. He just needs a place to chill out and be able to vape, vaping, not smoking. So. No, ah, we're we're sitting in a hotel because uh, I'm on the road working, and I actually I noticed that the, there's, they have plugins in the wall, so I brought an extension cord, and I've got the again the screwball just sitting here in the parking lot with me for getting plugged in, using good old Sandman power, and uh, yeah, thanks, they're gonna get me thanks, to the show. Sandman anyway. International, thank you very much. Yeah, well, it's about time they did something good. Dude, this room is, like, it. you walk in and it smells like a fucking deep fryer. Like, yeah, it's gross. It. And then, like, I, I came and um, I went and grabbed my missus uh, today so she can come on the road with me. She's going through a bit of shit and I'm going through a bit of shit. So let's be together at least so no one's lonely kind of thing. And so I, I, I pre-warned her and she said the first time she walked in, she didn't really notice it. And then we went to uh, go get some groceries and lunch type stuff and come back. She's like, oh yeah, now I can notice it. I'm like, yeah, I told you, it's freaking gross. I tried taking um, the clove and peppermint uh, essential oils that I liked. I was just talking about for my favorite recently for uh, to making things smell less bad. Use a shit ton of that in the room for a half hour. Come outside to smoke a joint, walk back in, and no, no, it smells like deep fryer. You can't even tell there was essential oils applied to anything in there. Bro. It's, uh, I don't know. Like, you can't smell weed the in there. Fuck that shit. Well, see, I got this little vaporizer thing beside me, and there's a bathroom with an exhaust fan. So now we're talking. I, it's, well, man, like, can I possibly make that room smell any worse at this point? Like, probably not. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. So it's just, wow, man. Yeah, just, it's gnarly. Well, I feel for you because you're stuck there. You know what I mean? There's nothing you can do but, right? Really. Yeah. I, well, but on the bright side, after not even five minutes, you get nose blind to it until the next time you go out and come back in. But it's, it is what it is. At least I don't have a roommate to share with anyone. That's the one thing you'll always see or hear me be thankful for when we're working on the road. If I don't have to share a room with someone, uh, which was typically the case for most of the time I've worked on the road for, uh, uh, honestly, more, most companies, they want you to do what we call Bert and Ernie style beds where you got the double beds next to each other or whatever. And you wake up in the morning looking at the person you work with all day long and then you go to work and look at the person you work with all day long you come home and you sit there in the room looking at the person <laughs> you know and then you go to bed looking at the person that you've been and it's just it's too much we all like privacy right like i and i got nothing really against anyone i work with sure we've all got our good and bad points like anyone does but for the most part they're all great dudes it's just i don't want to look at you 24 7 and you don't want to look at me 24 7 and awesome. I'm a pain in the ass, so you probably want to be around me even less than I want to be around you. So, you know, I get thankful for our own space. Yeah, so okay. these, uh, you guys know those, uh, the fluff or not around twos that I, that I did. I got like five of them left in solo cups. Fuck, I'm stressing these motherfuckers out. Came back today and they were all like just vertical, you know, these are just kind of hanging. Hit them with the water, they came back. And they're starting to force flower almost. It's kind of funny. But uh, 
Yeah, I got to pick one that I'm going to actually put outside again in the ground and see what happens. So, I don't know. Let's go get them. I'll go put them out of the tent. We'll take a look at them. See where we're at. Don't, don't judge, okay? These plants have been purposely left to fester, okay? So, we judge very much. I know you're going to judge me. Judge me. Well, pinkies up, motherfuckers. Let's do it. I don't have the dab controls, so this one will be frog. Just by the way I'm but, handling uh, them, you're going to be like, God, Jesus. Got them. <laughs> These are solo oh, cup plants, so they're, they're kind of long and lanky. But they're getting yellow at the bottom. Some of these leaves can definitely take a hike. But they're, they all kind of have that same armpit kind of smell to them, which is, I don't know, not bad. But, like, you can see the nice slender leaf on them. Yeah. That's why I like the smoke. The smoke kind of gets you jacked up. Like, it really confuses you. It kind of, like, fucking scrambles your brain, which I like, you know. But it's starting to, like, it's, like, I, the reason I kept these ones and got rid of the other ones is, you can see they're starting to almost pour. Where am I going there? So this little guy, end of my finger there. It's kind of almost forming a flower. So it's like the plant wants to so bad. And that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Something that's going to like pop right before, like without fucking 12 12, basically. A couple cycles before that would be ideal, right? Yep. Those that time. But each one of these has that, that same kind of like. Well, that one looks, that looks too bad. That was, that was straight peach skin. Ooh. Whatever the turf is in the skin of a peach. That's fucking... Okay, you're going over there. These, This one... First one I plucked, those smell straight like fucking cat piss. I don't know, it's so hard to tell, right? Like when they're this young, you can't... You got a flower in the middle, but... I like that. I plucked a leaf off that one and it smelled right away. I got that spam of that peach skin fucking turf. That's deadly. I like that. This one has it too. So that makes the choice easy. I'm just going to, uh, I'll keep these and give these to friends or something. But I'm done with these two. They smell like armpits. And that's the reason I got rid of the other one. I like smelly armpits. This one's kind of rubbery, but I hate having to judge plants like that, but this is all I got right now, right? <laughs> Just a fucking quick Well, thing. you got to do what you got to do sometimes, though, especially when you know you're doing some selectioning for, like, you know, say outdoors and stuff, and you don't have the luxury of get running everything all the way through. So sometimes you just got to get tough with it. Yeah. That need to up-pot these little bastards, though. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. John, it's about 12 or 13th node. Huh. A solo cup. Nice stock for a solo cup, too. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're feeders, though, man. Holy shit. I wonder if we can get it out and look at the roots. Oh, yeah. Well, they're not that great. They've been in there a while. Yeah. My, when I get plants that big in solo cups, it's kind of how they'll typically look i have a hard time keeping everything all lush and moist yeah, they're not, the roots are kind of giving up and <laughs> they're fucking on their way out and i just got soil all over my keyboard <laughs> technical difficulties so yeah there we've got our selection made we've got our little peach peach cobblers here and we've got our armpits Fuck yeah. That yeah, makes we're it gonna go. Down to two. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because I only really want one. Hmm. I guess I'll pot them and see what they do after that, then make another another choice. Yep. Yeah, or give them away like you're saying, or yeah, like if, you, if, you, if you're really not even all that interested in them, you can just chuck them and start and get something new, too.
Yeah, I got to get them up for it quick, dude. They're not liking it too much. So number two and number nine. Number two and number nine. Made the cut. Pick selection. No, I've been watching them grow for a while, and I've just been paying attention to each one. I already got rid of a couple. So now it's just... Yeah, we'll run one of those, and hopefully I'll get a clone before the end of the season, and if it gives me that... that The, the structure was nice, the bud was nice, everything was nice, it just had this rotten smell to it, kind of, just that kind of turned you off, man. Yeah, I uh, got a call from my dad today talking about how he dried out who he's uh sour diesels too much now they're not taking water in and yada yada it's like well just do what you can like i said we're we're planning on throwing them outside next week anyways and just re them we'll cut the buds that we want off them leave everything else out there and let them do their thing outside and, if, and then hopefully kind of we can get useful uh clones off them sometime in the summer once they've re vegged and done their thing and if we get anything awesome off them uh in the winter or fall, that'd be even better too. Oh yeah, for, uh, the summer's nice. It's free weed, You're not free weed. Like you got to work your ass off for it. But it's like you, you, it's it does a lot of work when you're not there too, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's I'm kind of hoping that like between my parents' place and maybe the in-laws that we can bring in, uh, put be able to put a couple pounds away for the winter kind of thing because. Seeing how I, I finished off last uh, summer into fall doing too many breeding projects in a row, I kind of put us in a bad position because we were already for kittens. You know, it was an, going into October, which was an expensive month for us because it was like Rocktober for us because we, we, we did a lot of concerts that month, right? So you saw these added expenses, and then I had a freaking ran out of weed that we were growing so all of a sudden you're, you're paying for your weed on top of that and since you're rocking out and having all this really good times you're smoking more weed than you typically would because well hey we're having fun and so it's just like wow and so it'd be great to just have a couple extra pounds kicking around that uh you know go to that when you're uh if you hit, hit that hole in the harvest which we, we tend never to hurts. never hurts never yeah. hurts i've had it for the last couple of years um, just surplus cannabis, and it's 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 a relief. Like I, I don't know what it would be like to be out of weed. I haven't been out of weed in like over a thousand. Years. Yeah. So it's like I, I don't wish that upon anybody. <laughs> Sometimes it's subpar, but I always I always have some. So. Yeah, something's better than nothing, and that's kind of how I look at it. And even like your subpar stuff is still gonna be as good or better than dispensary weed. Right, and, but you it. didn't have you didn't have to go pay for it at least. Yeah, got some uh, half-ass gelato bottle that I didn't even really trim up or anything, and I just pluck it right out of the tent here and uh, right into the bait, man. So, yeah, just take a little nug right off the branch. Take the bowl. That's how you process weed around here now. <laughs> Won't even break that shit up or trim it. Fucking big old fan leaf sticking right over the top. Let's hit it. My audio is all fucked up again. I might have to bounce out and come back Listen. in. Straight up delicious. Try and do this one more time. Say something. Caribou. Caribou, one, two, three. Test. Mic check. Cough or choke or Microphone anything. I can't tell if my audio is fucked up if you're closing down the sector. Supreme neck protector. Better morning, kid, Mr. Meta. Can't hear me rap? Nothing. So I got caribou. I don't know what you want, bro. <laughs> can you even hear me? I can hear you. Yes, your audio is coming through. I yeah, I got no. You got sound. nothing. No <laughs> shit. Caribou has gone soundless for us. Okay, I got an easy solution for this. I'll just do that. <laughs> Dabs up, motherfuckers.
Yeah, so we got a little technical difficulties on caribou's end. But no need, we don't got technical difficulties here. We got weed plants to look at. Let's look at this one. Primal plants, this is going outside if it shows female. Um, I don't want to have to force them, but I'm getting to the point now where time's coming to a crunch. You gotta figure out you can you hear, we can, I can hear you. You can hear me. Yeah, finally. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Well, see, I was trying to be a good steward of the earth and not sitting here idling my car. And then after <laughs> about 20 minutes, it'll just uh, shut its power down. So I think you. I can safely unidle it. I just got to remember to fire it up again for a couple seconds in about 15 minutes. And then we'll shut her down and do that over again. But yeah, I was like, all of a sudden, I, just, I lose all my i could hear you very low for a little bit like it's fucking kind of how it was before i found my audio there uh before the show started there and then all of a sudden like that's when i was and then all of a sudden there was nothing i'm like well okay i can't tell if my audio is fixed now pain in me but talks so, Let's but now that we got that fixed, we could probably do a dab or something like that. So, what's that? I can double it up. Now, the front coming right at you. Bam. I'm hot on the fucking trigger. <laughs> so, what's that pretty little lady that you got there? That is a primal punch. This okay. is primal punch uh, number two. I have two on the go. I don't know. They're, they're regulars, right? So, I'm just waiting for a sign um, to pick one to put in the garden. I'll put them both out there if they're both female, but uh, just got to wait and see which uh, which one is which here. I'm kind of like spoiled with all the uh, Black Widow crosses. Yeah. So Yeah, I hear that. It's making the regulars look bad. I understand well, their role in, in, in plant society, so they don't look bad to me, but you know what I mean? It's like, that whole side of the group is already figured out. You guys over here are stressing me out fucking kind of way. I'm going to wait on your ass. And I, I tried that once, uh, the flip and flip back. Yeah. You know, do that to clones. Do, like, take a clone and flip it and figure shit out. Even in a cup of water, I guess, would probably work. Cut a clone, put it in a cup of water, put it in your 1212. By the time it dies, it's going to tell you something. Um, in theory. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, in theory, yeah, I've never done. But uh, I did. Well, it but, but no, there. like especially if you've got like if you've got your cloning machine or whatever, um, like your, your little enough. seven or nine spot cloner or whatever, fill that up with cuts, and yeah, let let it rip on a twelve twelve light cycle, and I like I see no reason why it wouldn't. I have never done that myself. For. I, I don't know why. Uh, there's there for, for no reason in particular. I've not not avoided it. I've just never thought of doing it that way. I think, but because I'm, I would all typically do is I'll flip the seed, at uh, you know put it out in a solo cup, maybe eight inches tall or whatever, and then I'll flip it for maybe a week and then flip it back. Because then I found by the time you know, like it, it won't get as fucked up as a real where you grow it out and then reveg it. Um, and it'll have time to recover, right? Uh, a, a plant that's say three feet tall when you start revegging it will be fucking like a million feet tall and bushy as shit uh, when you start revegging and finished up. So I'm just trying to. Am I making sense? I'm, I'm even confusing myself here. Reveg plants are tough because I every time they turn into like a giant octopus of a plant. Yeah, they throw branches in every direction and. I've, I've kind of st I stay clear from that now unless like it's super special and I have time I'll stick it somewhere to reveg it but it takes the fuck forever and they end up an ugly plant you can't really do much it's only good for like making clone stock if you reveg a big plant you'll get twenty to hundred clones like you'll get a whole whack of them so it's like but bah. Well, you guys would be surprised at how many people are not good at backing up in here. It's, it's a tight little parking lot in here. Like this is where I'm gifted with this tiny little freaking car that I drive. But but you get people bringing their full size pickups back here and turning around, and I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> like the guy that's right, the right behind me that you just heard beeping and stuff like that. I wouldn't have brought my freaking truck down this far. 
because now he's going to have some assholes that will fucking park two hiccups fucking back to back kind of, and he's not going to even have enough room to get out in the morning. So I hope yeah, doesn't he know you're trying to host a podcast right now? Like, well, okay. yeah, that's actually a good point. Hey, <laughs> I'm fucking inconsiderate with what these guys are being now. Oh, you, I should get like one of those like red lights. Like, do you remember you see those in like recording studios on like the shows and stuff like that? Where don't come in, we're recording or whatever like that. I'll get like a on air beeper. I get like a beacon that just tells people to mm-hmm. fuck. We off. were gonna get one for the for the grow room door when I'm doing this, but I'll make it happen once I I gotta refinish the whole house eventually. So the ceiling is getting. I really say, don't let me get started talking about that. What I'm going to talk about is morning glory seeds. I put some into paper towel a little while ago, a couple days ago. I'm going to go grab them and we're going to see if they've sprouted yet. I want these to be binding all around. Yeah, I just started them in the regular way I would do my cannabis seeds or whatever, but I don't really know how they work. I've never grown these. I'm sure they're going to take more than a couple days, so there's probably nothing happening to them, but. You never know. That's why we're going to look. So these are morning glory seeds. Oh, yeah, brother. Doing good. Oh, there's the camera. Yeah. We got some germ. That's what we like to see. A couple more. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. We're on it. Morning glories. Doing it. Holy fuck, yeah, that's faster than I thought. We better get on that. <laughs> that's neat. Yeah, I think so, Kingfisher. It says that the seeds are toxic. I don't know where the package went. Um, oh, here it is. I think I've heard people using morning glory seeds for making homemade acid and stuff like that. Seeds are poisonous if ingested. So, yeah, you eat the seeds, you trip out. So, I'll have them nice and uh, seeded out by Boof Camp so everyone can take a nibble. <laughs> yes. We're all in the bag. You're just puking. Fucking dying off morning glory. No, that's not. Nobody do that, please. That'd be, yeah, it'd be kind of a not so great way to fucking bing, bing, bing. finish off a great weekend. Yeah, yeah. Not exactly something I'd want to do. I just had to fix the screen on there. It got all pushed way down and stuff. Oh, good. Such a rough life, I tell you. So, oh, another good news. So, anybody that ever goes through Williams Lake, because I know there's so many of you on this freaking channel watching that will. The burger shed is now open up again in, in the uh, wholesale foods uh, parking lot, which is freaking awesome, man. That's like, it, it started off as just like a little food trailer, and now they've actually graduated to a shed in the grocery store parking lot. And just it's been the best burgers in town for well over a decade at this point. So, and it's, but it's seasonal because it's more of just a little shed and parking lot and cold ass fucking Canada. So, we were still good to have that. I had the Korean barbecue chicken burger today. Uh, that was, that, that, that was tasty. Oh, hell yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. Fuck, well, I work in the sticks, right? So, I brought an air fryer with me. So, it's like whatever I grab in the morning, they can be heated up is what I get. Today, I had pizza pops and french fries. So, like, not a, not a bad day. Um, so, uh, that, dude, that's funny that you're talking about air fryers because I was this close to buying one like about two hours ago. Uh, telling you, th- like, th- 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 that's what everyone says. <laughs> At lunch, I, dude, I'm telling okay, like, you get a $12, a $10 to $15 box of chicken wings, right? I'll usually yep. get two days out of that. I'll get six wings one day, six wings the next day. Um, and a bag of French fries is like, you know, five bucks. So, generally, for like, you know, under ten bucks, you get a you know six wings and fries for lunch. You got to cook it yourself, but it's fucking, it's cheap, but it's good. Like especially when it's cold, winter and shit like that. And I'm outside fucking around, and I know I get to sit down, and fucking eat some hot wings. Dude, I'm all Changes about the hot, all about the hot lunch on a cold winter day, man, or a cold rainy day where you just yeah. need that warmth if you get your core back up to temperature again. 
I, I love it. Where the, this winter, I kind of went back to like things like uh, stag chili and chunky soup, which I'm not really a fan of. Right? I used to eat a lot of that kind of crap well, in the get... bachelor days. Uh, but you know, at the same time, you can leave. I've had a can of ch chili in my lunch kit now for two months straight. You're too much alike, man. My back of my truck has zoodles and chunky soup just rolling around. <laughs> Yeah, we will because it's it's there, man. If I need something to eat one day, it, and it can sit in my lunch kit for literally months or years if need be, not being used. I don't like sandwiches. Well, it's, well, you get bored of sandwiches, right? I can't do them daily. And if you don't eat it that day, it gets in, sits in your lunch kit for a few days. It turns into a science project or whatever, a can of soup or whatever. It'll just chill. But it's not like the, you know, not always the greatest food for you. And then, you know, like chunky soup, let's face it, that's, it's not good for you. It's just filling, um, <laughs> more, more than anything. So, but they, I know a few people, that uh, guys that I work with that they'll, they'll bring like, uh, an air fryer on the road with them and, or a crock pot, stuff like that. And they swear by their, their air fryers. I've never heard anybody say that was a bad investment. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, so I was looking at the Ninja ones cause we just happened to be walking by them. And they had like the one where it has like the two air fryers built into one. And I was like, oh shit, how much is that? And no, no, I'm not buying I that. have the single <laughs> single basket one, like little it works great for me, man. It's fucking deadly. Yeah. I yeah, no, I don't I don't need a du the double basket. And when I looked at the price tag on it, I just about fell over. I was like, shit, I could take the whole family to a concert for that kind of price. So that's uh that's how I look at finances, right? Like, shit, that's like four concerts that we could go to for that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey I want to... Uh, lobster, eh? Turkey Sammies. See, and I, it's just, to me, it's... About years ago, when I was in my early to mid-20s, I worked at a freight warehouse, and about a block down the road, they had a custom uh, meats deli, and they used to do sandwiches, like, you know, you go in there and pick whatever meat you want, you can put two or three different kinds in there, whatever cheese, and, and etc., and it was great, but it just became the same old, same old. Get stoned okay, well... I see skunk ape. He's he, skunk ape's not into the air fryer. Oh, it's like cooking with a hair dryer. It is. It's just hot air blowing all over the fucking place. It works. So, hey man, press the button. Come back ten minutes later. Wings are done. Fuck it's sweet. I'll take it. Okay. It's the difference. So like, I, I miss working in town. Like I remember when I worked in Calgary. Um, I was a young go west young man, you know. So left Ontario and went. I made it to Alberta. And it new to a city life, it wasn't really. I was from a small town and everything, so like I'm on lunch, and like it's blowing my mind that I got fucking 19 different choices where I can go where there's hot fresh. And I worked in like an industrial kind of park, sort of. So there was like uh, a few, re I wouldn't even call them restaurants, they were lunch restaurants for working people, um, basically cafeterias. Um, but they were called like Elsie's lunch spot or whatever you know some shit like that yep. i found a couple of those and it was like god damn like and they were ethnic stuff like not no white man food this was like some good fucking cooking i'm like this is awesome man fucking like eight dollar plates of just you know, you know some different rice and stuff and wow. you know, type of curry chicken and oh fucking damn man you, if you get into a good camp style or a camp like that or well you're not at a camp but same kind of uh, it was the same like, basic concept right you get into a good camp, man, and life is good because you, you, you know, the food is good and they're, you're allowed to eat as much of it as you want. Like, it's a good way to fucking, uh, people start the day with three chocolate milks and a fucking, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, well, yeah, it's it, dude, it's it's so good. But that being said, <coughs> sorry about that, <coughs> the button is a little bit hard to reach. Um, that being said, I've been into camps where the food literally looks like somebody fucking chewed it up and spat it out into the freaking serving tray. And you're just like, I don't oh, if I, I uh, please don't make oh, yeah, that. Is there anything else around here to eat but that? Um, so, yeah, but that's typically not the case. Alberta really knows how to uh, put on camps, man. Uh, like with their oil fields. I've been yeah, to fire camps in Alberta, and yeah, they 
they know how to do that shit. I never made it. I was always working in shop and stuff, which was nice because we, I did a lot of the oil field related work, but I did it in a heated environment with a lunchroom. Yep. Um, yeah, so that was nice there, but I get stories from the boys coming back. All that shit. I'm glad I didn't like. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure if I'm glad that my career worked out the way it did or if it didn't. Like the only way it would be better is if I was making the same wage I am now, but with a union backing, or not union backing, but a very strong backing. Like I mean, like you know what I mean. Like when you're with large corporations, they cushion everything, give you retirement plans and all that shit, and health benefits and such. Um, I yeah. don't have any of that right now. But my wage is, you know, is high. So it's like uh, kind of stuck. I like shit. If I get, if I go for the health benefits and all that stuff, I'm losing half my wage basically. Yeah. But I have kids, so it's kind of like benefits are huge, especially when it comes well, to sick kids, man. My poor well, kids fucking, fucking things sick too. all the time. They, yeah, dental. That, that that's another one. Her teeth aren't as bad as my my. I got bad teeth. Oh, dude, um, I'm not really but, worse guaranteed. And like my my daughters are not nearly as bad as mine, but she's still gonna need braces and stuff like yeah. that. And it just, but at least I, pretty sure. Well, if her mom still has working benefits stuff like that, we were able to stack our benefits together so that. You know, mine will cover X amount of the braces or orthodontal work, and hers will cover X amount, and then there's less to pay. And, uh, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, the wife has uh, has coverage. I'm not sure to what extent or whatever. So the kids are covered still. So it's not a big concern for me. It's only personal for me. So um, I kind of want to convince my boss to fire up the Red Cross kind of thing. That's like you pay into your own benefits, sort of. I just don't know if that works. How, like, if you have to have an employee number, you know what I mean? If you have to be an actual business to fire that up, or if you can just be a person. Yeah, I you don't know. know. Got to figure that shit out, though. I need health coverage of some sort. Getting old, and I'm going to start fucking falling apart and shit. So. Yeah, uh, man, I'm there. I uh, I went. I I end up with the day off today. Uh, I end up having to go and be uh the concerned uh boyfriend with my girlfriend there she's like I said she's going through some shit and like i got this spot that's right on the back of the shoulder there kind of underneath going underneath the armpit that's I, i'm almost starting to wonder if there's a little bit of a tear in there it just hurts a little bit differently than everything else and i, I, I you guys hear me bitch about my left arm all the time it's got hot spots from just working but it, it's got a different spot and it's like oh my god like it's and to know that I like uh, if, I, if I go in, if that needs to be surgically repaired at some point in time, it, it's really good to know that, uh, that that at least that you don't have to worry. About. You just got to worry about fuck. Can you even get in for the surgery in this country? Are you waiting lists for everything are so freaking long. Oh yeah, no Canada free healthcare. No, no free wait for healthcare. Yeah. Ship, I, there's a couple yeah. months ago, we uh, British Columbia was shipping cancer patients down to Washington uh, for treatment. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, we're turn the car back on here for a second. Yeah, don't lose us again, Say again? I said, don't lose us again, brother. Well, this is why I tried turning it on. Here, here let's do a dab. Things up, man. That's and then like one more flash up and then uh you know i think we're gonna be good at that is it just me or is the frog like all twitchy and like spasming uh, oh, it looks all right to me. Okay, it's just me i i'm like i said i'm out in the parking lot so the wi-fi is probably not all that great out here you're running off parking lot hotel wi-fi and you're wondering what's <laughs> are you frozen yeah he's definitely frozen he can't stare like that i don't think <laughs> oh we lost him again folks. how about now oh you're back you're frozen Dude, I, that's you fine go. i could hear you for you to ask are you frozen are you frozen? and i'm like nah dude they're like answering <laughs> you and stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that wi-fi parking lot wi-fi doing well 
Yeah. Oh, it was nice. I got up for a little bit of throttle therapy tonight on the on the DRZ. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I fired up, went to town. I had to get a little more paint for the bathroom reno, a little piece of pipe, some water. I fuck this thing's turning into a, it's a goddamn make work project. Be careful when you do rentals, folks. Just be careful, man. One layer adds to another to a fucking another. And next thing you know, you're doing a bunch of shit. I remember uh, my downstairs <laughs> bathroom uh, when I was married. And so it's funny how you're talking about bathroom rentals and stuff. Because it's uh, and that's the onion layer fucking kind of project. I noticed a little bit of black mold on uh, part of the, uh, the bathroom. So I started gripping dry drywall apart. What you seemed like it was going to be a quick few hour project. Everything ended up coming apart. And I think even by the time I moved out probably four years after that project started, the bath downstairs bathroom was still not fully put back together a hundred percent. So it happens, but this house is a one bathroom house. So this guy's got to get his shit together and get that motherfucker back in action. Yeah. Here's the, here's the milk jug in a funnel kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that bad, but uh uh, Just give me one second. I'll be right back. Yeah, no worries. So, how's everyone doing? Live chat. Shout out to everybody there. You my fucking hi. I see you, my man. Great to see y'all. Let's. If I could do the dab buttons, I would. But uh, well, I don't have access to those right now, so I'm not going to. But I will pack one up so we can get going. So tomorrow night is going to be um, our 419 show. And we're, uh, we're going to do a giveaway on a Friday night shit show. A few people are going to jump on and do some seed giveaways. I think I heard Fluff say he might get in on that. I, my personal contribution to this one will be some of Adam's grapple fritters that uh, y'all have heard about. You've been hearing about grapple fritter for years. Um, I have two of those I've got. And so I'm going to give a pack of those away. As well as a pack of grapple fritter by Catahoula, which is my thing, and then also some of the spider girls. So tune in tomorrow night, come hang out, bullshit, hang out on the panel if you want to, and you know, fucking we'll get down as we do. It'll be a great time. Um, another thing is, but I don't know, we, we might even get together and do a Saturday show. We'll see. I'll uh, wait till GB gets back. Maybe I'll put the word out to Fluff. What do you guys think? Should we do a 420 get together show on Saturday? Um, I I, uh, I I I I I don't know what to say. Um, I I think I'm heading home. Uh, I'm gonna drive the girlfriend home that night so that she can be there. Um, you know, and not here and all that. So I I think I could be. I just bring the laptop with me and potentially do a show from there or from here in the hotel. I wherever, regardless of where I am. So. Let me know what you guys figure about that. And uh, I won't be able to do it in the morning, though, Kingfisher. Uh, I'll be, uh, yeah, I, I've got to be careful with waking baking shows before work nowadays. We'll just put it that way. There's uh, was an incident at work a few months back that uh, was a major heat score. And so, yeah, it's... <laughs> unfortunately we, i can't do the week and week uh but saturday night uh, afternoon around the time of whenever i get back that could totally be doable uh if anybody's interested in that one and maybe we could do a giveaway then too i could get down with that one let's see let's see those pinkies y'all let's do them oh i don't start gagging too much oh so what am I vaping on? The machine. Now, this is awesome. The machine, Irie Genetics. We got a bunch of fans and friends of Irie Genetics in here. We love Ross Jeff. He's a cool cat. <coughs> here is the cool part, though. The machines that uh, I am currently smoking are the F2s that I uh, that I made a couple years ago now at this point. I'm a fan of this strain. But that's all the cool part. The cool part is... Uh, a while back i passed those on to the lady that y'all have never met but you hear me talk about her as the best grower in my area that's where i go to for my cannabis when i get the holes in between the harvest and 
she uh I talked to her earlier today and was like, hey, yo, can we uh, run into each other at some point in time? And she did, and she uh, gives me the list of uh, to choose from. And on that list was the machine, which is the F2s that I gave her and grew out, and also the Banana Max, which is a, which is a project of mine, uh, which was uh, just a uh, banana... Um, I'm not going to be back. I did a screen flip there. I think I might have froze. Uh, so, but anyways, what I'm getting at is this is just, it's cool to see stuff that it's either, well, my genetic, I did have two of those. I didn't do the original cross. I did have two of those, but stuff like my projects and genetics, that I've had a hand in getting them into the community. She said her next thing up is she's got some of Dutch Bloom's root beer crosses that I gave her. Now, I did not have to any of those. I just straight handed those seeds onto her, but she says those legit smell like root beer. Now, here's where, like, it, so it's cool to know that, you know, a good portion of my local community, without even realizing it, is smoking my genetics, uh, buying, selling, growing, you know, and I, I just think it's cool. So now, here's, without trying to be too revealing here, the one person on the planet who probably hates me more than anyone else. I'm not going to mention names. You can probably figure it out yourself. But uh, they're selling my genetics and don't even realize it. And I'm just like, ha, ha, ha. It just puts a big smile on my face. And I feel like if they were to, like, if. I feel like if they were to find out, it would just like really chap their ass. And I kind of, a part of me wants to put that information in, in their ear, but it'll obviously leave it enough alone. To me, it's just one of those funny things that I'll smile and grin to myself about, you know, a uh, little bit of, to me, that that's a small amount of personal success there. Uh, not, not just, not the fact that someone that who, doesn't like me as growing it but if i see my stuff being grown locally which was always my intention when i first got into breeding cannabis seeds i never fuck man places like michigan um illinois virginia's you know uh you know we did we didn't think we'd have people in places like that when we first started so i thought it would be kind of localized to bc because that's where i'm from i don't understand algorithms and all that well no i'm starting to understand why they didn't then um, and then you see uh, places like Australia where they're starting to go their stuff now. And I'm just like, wow, like this, this is really cool. Very, very, very cool. I enjoy it. Um, I, just don't, I don't know what to say. Freaking G-Bay's not coming back. So we're going to have to get like a sticky notepad drawing of him and just won't put it on the screen there for him. So this is going to make me keep stalling. Um Hell yeah, Ohio, brother. That's that's right. I can mention Ohio now too. You guys are legal. It's funny because Ohio was like at the tip of my tongue, but I don't know. I look enough freaking out our uh, prohibition growers and stuff like that. And you've been with uh... oh, yeah. That's. <laughs> I see that ball. So that's uh, what uh, caught my tongue there. Just reading that. Um, yeah, the joys of former colleagues. It's, but you know what? If uh, if people that you used to work with and call friends and family, if if they want to be butt hurt, and uh, you know, let them be butt hurt. Well, you, nothing you can really do about that in the end. Just put your head down and do you. Uh, you know, as long as we remain to not be hurting people and uh, stay positive and, you know, they try and lift each other up. That's the one of the things I try and like convey, man, is try. That's what we're here for. We're family and that's what we do. When I like, you know, a lot of y'all know by now, it wasn't long after the show started gaining what we felt a little bit of traction. That's where my married life fell apart. And it was y'all lifting me up to help me get through that. And then it was like almost instantaneously freaking after my shit got all shook up. You, you, you could see it. It was almost like dominoes fall. Boom, boom, boom. Someone else's turn. Someone else's turn, you know. And 
you know, but that's what we do. We lean on each other. We lift each other up, man. Ain't, I don't know anybody living the perfect life. Uh, most people I know are living a good life, but everybody's stressed out about something, and it sucks. What can you do? Once again, just try and lift each other up. Again, life is rough, but we can definitely help. We can help make it easier. Here I am coming across all saint-like and shit like that. No, I am not. I'm no saint. I am, um, you know, just trying to be a better person than I was yesterday, if anything. Uh, you know what I mean? I think that's a good way to put that one. Trying to find my key so I can clean this out here. Without trying to be too clangle-jangle in there, you know. You can, it's funny how, like... There are certain things that you hear and you know exactly what it is from a mile away. Um, the crack of like a can, like a beer can or something like that. The jangle of keys. It doesn't matter where the context or any of that stuff. You, uh, you, know, you know that sound. She's windy out there. I wonder if we're going to get some kind of storm. Maybe a rainy day for uh, working tomorrow. Shall see. Baby bird tech. I think I want to see somebody actually make a video on that. I, I think how funny would that be? Now, just just picture uh, like. Fluff, we'll use him just because he's awesome. Uh, Fluff will, <laughs> like, well, you know one of those, like, cheesy instructional videos, like, you fucking have to do for orientations at work, where this is how you do this, and they'll have, like, that, like, the lady's voice talking, and, and then we'll, like, we could have, like, Fluff, like, you know, a picture of, like, a bowl full of, like, worms or stuff like that, and, you know, here's the worms, and you gotta stick them in your mouth, and then chew them up, and then add the whatever, and just... And then figure out how to fake it so it's not actually sticking worms and other gross gnarly shit in his mouth. And then have him, but you know, like spitting up whatever onto the fucking plants or whatever. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I see the buy me a coffee uh, link up there from Jay Patrick. I want to show it you out again, brother. Um, what's today? Today's Thursday, so it would have been Tuesday night where you came through and bought or was that 60 coffees i think it was that was huge that's insane that is amazing thank you we appreciate that so much uh very very cool we appreciate all our supporters uh you know you guys are here for us the financials but the financials help man and that's not a little one that is you do the math on that at about five bucks a coffee and he bought 60 of them so that that's just like holy shit um so now here's the funny thing we tried cashing out the buy me a coffee thing that's like over a month ago now i think uh because that was terps fun now for him when he got out and so we tried cashing that out and they didn't pay it out they still have not paid it out to us and try and email with them and they it, it's not, it seems like it's going to be a headache and a runaround and stuff like that so by the time we actually are figure out whatever the fuck their deal is, um, then it's getting frustrating. I'll be honest. Uh, we could have like a, you know, pretty good little savings fund in there. So once again, thank you to everybody that contributes to the buy me a coffee. Although, uh, they're, they seem to be a bit of a frustration to, uh, get the cash out on them for now. Um, but Patreon, we also got our Patreon supporters. Thank you to everybody who contributes to the show on there. Once again, Jay is awesome. He's got the link up in there. If you would like to, uh, you know, click those links up and support the show either way. Yeah, it is some BS, Jay. But I also, around this time, I to be honest, my um, my bank card, you know, we all have our bank cards, credit cards, whatever, they got expiry dates on them, right? So with online banking and stuff like that, if your bank card is entered in for a bunch of different uh, sites, uh, stuff for PayPal example is one of the ones that uh, got fucked up with mine, um, was when my bank card expired a couple months ago, uh, when they give you the new one, it's got a new expiry date and it's got a new um, 
three digit code or whatever on the back of the card and everything for your security code, whatever the hell it's called uh, on there. So it could be a situation like that where it's not, it's actually kind of our fault without just, you know, we're just dumbasses and we smoke a lot of weed and don't think about shit like that. But on their end though, this is not easy to fucking get into, get answers with or anything like that. It's so that, and that is some bullshit if that's the case. Uh, but whatever it is for now, I, I do believe that we will get it figured out sooner than later, I hope. And, but until then it's just a savings fund, man. And, you know, we've been talking about wanting to get a whole bunch of merch out there right now. And that's going to take a whole bunch of money. So it could potentially just go that. And also I've, anyone was unaware so they're like hey well what about terp uh, did he get end up getting that money so uh whatever with the amount of money that we had saved up at the time he got released or before just before he got released there i ended up just having to take that out of the personal and okay pay that off right there and so that's where that went so uh kind of uh, the way i look at it is for him you know, we, you guys paid Terp and then I just took that money and put it back into the buy me a coffee is how I look at that. Um, and shout out to all you guys that contributed on that level. That's awesome. I just got a message from him yesterday. I was texting with him and he uh, sounds like he's going to get his med card here soon. So he'll be able to have his legal meds. And uh, as, as for grow, that, that'll have to come at a different time. Uh, but, you know, for now, he's been able to get his meds in him, and that's huge. So we like to hear that, man. You're back. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, some of the fam was just here grabbing some stuff and shit. So. Oh, good, man. Dude, that's – dude. I managed to babble that whole fucking time. I, I was <laughs> I'm like, proud of you, man. Do, you can did I good. do it? <laughs> you did good. Doing all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I got dogs going crazy. That was the thing too. So I was like, oh, somebody's fucking here. <laughs> yeah. Man, I fucking want a dog so bad. I, like, we were, went to a site yesterday and these people had this great big St. Bernard. And I was like, oh, I would love to have a great big St. Bernard or something. We used to have one when I was little or a teenager. Yeah. Right, it's me starting the car, the bong bong. And my apologies. I just realized that I probably need to do this one more time. Not too, uh, not too far from being done, but oh, yeah, it's been a good one, man. I I've needed this chat. It's you yeah. know, it's, I'm just. I like the Thursday night. It's good. It's a quick little hour. Just me and you bullshitting and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's. Stuff. Yeah, in and out. Oh, those are bad ones, you muff. When you got to roll or crank your own windows down. Well, you're not, even, like, oh, not even moving down the road either. It's kind of stale wind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or it's like the uh, Jeff Foxworthy, one of, one of his bits where he's talking about, like, one of the fucking greatest joys in life is when you let one rip in the car. Friggin' and you fucking do the windows up, friggin' lock them on your friends as they're trying to fucking hang their heads out the window. I never, I was never the driver in those days when that happened. I was like, fuck, I was be a poor guy. If holy fuck, open the door at the stoplight, just get out. <laughs> Cheers, gosh dang, Yeti. How you doing? Hey, Yeti. Oh. I'm gonna put another coat of paint on the bathroom, I think, when I get off the show tonight. Actually, I thought I got to tape the edges. I was in there yesterday, me and my daughter doing some of the painting, and uh, we did. I was like, oh, don't worry about taping that or that. And, da -da -da. and so, yeah, now we got paint fucking all over the place. I gotta <laughs> go back over and tape the edges. And stuff, so. But it's a five by six bathroom, like it's so small, right? So it's like, I think that's what it is five feet by six feet. Yeah. I, she grows ask a question there. Do you mean the adapter for the metal bowl to sit in? She grows, and if that's the case, yes, that, that is a glass adapter to go in between my bong there. If and if you're said. thinking power wise, he's got to plug it into the wall of the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just parked here at the hotel. We're not driving or anything like that. We're just sitting here chilling. Um, yeah, I'll get in trouble if I try and well. 
to be honest, I, there's not a doubt in my mind I could use this inside the hotel and not get caught. But I'm sitting here doing a show. Let's come out. It's a nice day out. It's sunny. Windy as shit, but it's, you know, it's nice. Of these days, oh yeah, I got a I got an inverter in my car, but it's uh, unfortunately it's not. Uh, this thing doesn't have to tell me how much it draws, but it's gonna draw more than the 140 or 150 watt my little inverter. Is. Well, this uh, my car. Well, it's it's got a built-in inverter in it too, and I've noticed that uh, by the time the the screwball gets up to heat, it seems to just shut the shut itself off. Cause I turned it on twice and it did that. So I think it doesn't quite have enough to keep it going. We need something bigger. Yeah, so that's yeah, why yeah. I'm just like, well, you know, like I said, I'm parked anyways, go get an extension cord, plug it into the wall. And I've got my smoke station here. <laughs> yeah. And when I freaking empty my bowl of uh, ABV uh, flour out there, and it's like composting it's not gross like cigarette butts and stuff like that you know still drive with the table plugged in still yeah i did that with my fucking the heater in my jeep once oh, yeah it's i'm actually jay that one there driving with the cable plugged in that one has kind of crossed my mind several times so i think the, there's just no leaving it plugged in as soon as we're done the session kind of thing Okay, go fucking unplug it and throw it back in. Take care of that stuff. All right, you just did your. I guess we yeah on this show we don't do last hit, right? So, yeah. So well, I think we do. You know what, man? I I think we did, and I think sometimes we do. Uh, but you know we can do one now because yeah. I yeah, guess I'll have, to, I'll have to reload, but I don't mind reloading. You know, some fun. Go. The block heater, that's what it is. Yeah. I left my cord plugged into that once. That was awesome. I've done that. Yeah. I have a buddy whose girlfriend uh, drove away with the gas pump still in and ripped the hose right off the gas pump. Rough. I have another buddy whose girlfriend freaking ran her car up onto the pillar that the gas pump sit on, rip it off, and freaking light the entire place on fire. That was, that way, when that one happened, that was like probably 30 years ago in Prince George, and I met um, Earl, the friend of the friend's girlfriend, or however the fuck that worked. It was like 15 years after that happened, but it was a big deal in Prince George when that happened, right? He's oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah no. That was like my friend's friggin' whatever. And I was like, fuck, that's cool, man. You're like, because hey, that, that's like celebrity status in that town, is basically what I'm trying to say. I let the stage no fire. All right, we're ready to farewell salute. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Before we do this, uh, like Jay Patrick says there, please hit the like button for us. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when we go live tomorrow night and any other nights that we go. Um, Man, don't be afraid to share and spread the word. I think we're doing some fun stuff over here, always having a good time and trying to lift each other up and trying to just keep positive vibes. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to remain positive. Life isn't always peachy. Um, and, you know, we are real people. You are real people. We're just like each other. You know what I mean? Uh, so once again, let's lean on each other. Let's lift each other up. Make things better when we can. Pinky's up. That's right what he said. Yes. See you tomorrow night, y'all. Giveaway.